This is Daily Reflections on Divine Mercy from My Catholic Life. Today's reflection is entitled, The Seraphic Soul. Everyone is called to holiness, and in that holiness is able to obtain complete happiness. But God always chooses some for a special mission of holiness, a higher form of holiness. These souls could be called seraphic souls. The classic example is to compare two glasses of water. One is large and one is small. They are both filled to the brim, so they are both full. But one contains more water. So it is with holiness. Some are given a special calling to reach a greater height. All people are to be full of the Holy Spirit and thus obtain perfect happiness. But some are invited higher in a unique way. This is similar to the nine choirs of angels. The seraphim are of the highest order and have as their sole purpose the worship and adoration of God. The guardian angels are of the lowest order and have as their primary duty the service of man. Each celestial being is perfectly happy and rejoices in the unique calling of each. Reflect today upon this glorious ordering of holiness for angels and for humanity. At first, it may not seem fair that some are given a special calling to holiness and even a special sharing in the sufferings of Christ. We must all ponder this truth and rejoice in it. And as for those seraphic souls in the world and those given a special call to share in Christ's sufferings, we should seek them out and seek the wisdom and grace that flows from their lives. God has a good reason for such ordering. It's our duty to embrace it with joy and to benefit from their blessed vocation. Let us pray. Lord, I thank you for your perfect wisdom in ordering the holiness of both angels and humanity. Help me to always seek out those seraphic souls, the special saints, who have reached a glorious level of holiness. Thank you for their witness and thank you for their freely embraced suffering. May the world be continually blessed by their lives. Jesus, I trust in you.